Ubisoft saying the free to play. Oh yeah, I saw about that. Um, the thing with Ubisoft, I don't trust them as a company. Honestly, like, I really don't. And and now that they're they're gonna be steering towards free to play games, I have a feeling that they're gonna they're gonna royally mess that up. It's gonna end up being a lot of cash shop, a lot of pay to win, a lot of like cosmetic crazy, like whatever the hell they do. People will fall for it though. They'll go and they'll they'll start spending money on those games. They'll say, "Oh, it's free," but really, it's not. Unless it's done right, because there's a lot of good free-to-play games out there right now. You know, a lot of a, a lot of good ones. But then there's more bad than good. So like, it kind of sh overshadows the the good developers that are doing good things with free-to-play games like Warframe, games like path of exile this game is not technically a free-to-play game you gotta pen uh, you gotta spend ten dollars before you start playing it but free after that so i kind of consider this a free-to-play game even though it's not oh and also fantasy star online 2 I, I totally forgot about that one fantasy star online 2 is an awesome free-to-play game when it comes to ubisoft i feel like they're gonna land up like charging you for every little thing we already saw that example the assassin's creed odyssey oh my god that was a cash shop heaven in that game you know we're lucky that it was a single player game because if it was an always online game similar to like Genshin Impact where there was no way to play it single player you had to log into their servers in order to like play it if they would have done that with Assassin's Creed then we would have been fucked because what I did when I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey is I installed a cheat trainer to give myself you know the levels that I wanted the XP that I wanted while i killed mobs like so i bumped up the xp i bumped up all the stuff that that i felt that that the game like cut off so they could sell it to you after because that's what they did in the cash shop they made it so that oh you want to level up faster buy an xp scroll oh you want to bypass this thing you gotta buy this too like it was just like the cash shop was like made to to cut you off you know like it was made to paywall you or to make you feel bad that you're not getting enough progress or whatever so that's that's how they get you man in those games and I, I feel like ubisoft is gonna go into that same direction with their new heartland um uh, division game like it's sad what they did with the division because it was it was such a good concept especially the first division in new york it was such a good game i really enjoyed it i played the shit out of it i loved it they decided to make uh, part two which was the most disappointing decision i've ever seen in a video game other than when um destiny 2 was announced because i felt the same way about destiny 2 i felt like it was a ripoff because there was still plenty game to work on but they decided to move on because they wanted to make another 60 bucks off of your ass and to also add in more microtransaction options because i noticed that with these games you have to add in the cash shop before you make the game because it's a it's a core part of their engine basically so you can't add in microtransactions after the game is already out. That's the main reason why they wanted to update their games because they wanted to make it easier for them to like open up that cash shop for them to sell you shit. You know, it's sad, man. It's sad. Like and and a lot of a lot of the players just don't they don't see it. You know, the casual players that, you know, are not paying attention to that stuff that are that are just kind of like, you know, after a long days of work they got kids, they got family, they play for like a couple hours a day. They're not really going to notice that and they're not going to be really that they're, they're, they're probably going to utilize the cash shop more than somebody that is like me. That's always like analyzing all those bits and and seeing the worth behind, you know, the game, because you always have to think about the, the core concept of what games used to be You used to spend 60 bucks on a game. And you'll get the full experience right away. Like think about Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, old the old shit. Those games were complete, usually. You know what you were getting into because the game was up front and center. It was there, it was done. You know, there, was, there wasn't any DLCs or any of that bullshit to kind of like, you know, paywall you. Now it seems like the developers kind of give you a, a basic game just just something just so they can work on it later and and update it later on instead of like right now and that that's pretty much what ubisoft does with all their games now they just go like oh you know what like we could release it early whatever 
we just have our annual annual uh, um, Assassin's Creed game, like fucking Valhalla. When I when I heard that game was coming out, I was like, nah, I'm not even gonna bother with that game. That's why I don't buy I don't buy games anymore. Like I'm I'm very very like careful with the games that I actually purchase. You know, like recently, the two games I bought were VR games, games that I knew that were worth it. It was Beat Saber and Pavlov, which Pavlov is a free to play game. You could download it for free, but I decided to buy it anyway because I just really enjoyed it that much. I was just like, I got to show some love to the developers, basically. That's what I did. You know, like, <laughs> so I, I just wish that more, more developers would fight to earn our trust more than, you know, the way it is right now. They're just corporations that are just constantly trying to figure out how to make a buck off of us. You know, it's all about numbers. It's all about like... You know making the most money it's just it's sad man it's sad where the industry is and it's not going to change it's going to get worse